Right. Welcome to our tip number 39. And we're, we're going to be talking about today is this new package called Graphify. And this is for making easy graphs and ANOVAs. We're going to focus on the graph making capabilities today. And we're going to make a really cool graph that looks like this. This is what's called a before after plot where you have uh, two different timestamps and you have two different states. Uh, so this is for MPG. Uh, mean highway MPG by the different models of vehicles and we can see going from 1999 to 2008 what the general trend was for each of these different vehicles. So we're going to show you how to make this plot in here and several others using this new Graphify package. All right, to get started, what you need to do is you need to sign up for the weekly R tips. If you haven't done so already, there's a link in the video notes and that'll help us get started. What you'll do is you'll get access to the GitHub repository. So if you go to GitHub, you'll do a git pull that'll pull down our repository and you'll get all of these files that are in here. So we're now up to tip number 39. So you can see we've got all of these files. We're going to be working out of 039 Graphify today and then uh, this 039 Graphify.r. That's the file that I have open up here and open up your outline so you can follow along. Okay. Um, to get started, this library, if um, you want to get this library, it's uh, available on GitHub. You're going to do this remotes install GitHub. You just run this and it'll install it. Uh, I am going to comment that out, control shift C, uh, and then we're going to run the libraries. The only libraries we need are Tidyverse and Graphify. We're going to be using the MPG data set. So this is a common one that I've been using. Uh, we've got manufacturer, model displacement, year, cylinder, transmission, uh, the drivetrain, and city and, and highway fuel economy, the fuel type, and the class of vehicle. So what we're going to be doing is checking out different ways we can graph this library to gain insights. Uh, so we're going to move on to section one, graphing two variables. So we're going to use, uh, it has, the Graphify package has all of these plot underscore and what these do are, these are kind of like wrappers for ggplot that make it very easy and quick to gain insights. So we're going to use a scatter bar, uh, which underscore SD, which, which stands for standard deviation. So if I run this plot here, it makes this where we've got all the data points. And you can see it makes a bar chart that goes right to the median. And then it's got the error bars here. And then you can see kind of where each of these points fall. Um, and, and so on. So this gives you kind of an idea of the standard deviation or the distribution of this, uh, of, of where the fuel highway fuel economy falls by cylinder. So you generally speaking, you're going to want a categorical variable here at the bottom. Um, so that's the cylinder is a categorical. It's four, six, four, five, six, and eight. And then you're going to want a numeric variable on the um, the y-axis, which is our highway, which is our what we're interested in understanding, the uh, the fuel economy by cylinder. So that's what this gives us. So it has uh, other plotting functions too. Uh, it's got this scatter box. So what this will do is uh, give us a box plot, and then we can add a, a, a um, scatter plot on top of it. And what we can see here is we can control the alpha, the scatter alpha of 0 0.5 is tr uh, controlling the opacity here and the jitter of 0 0.2 is giving it a little bit of a jitter so we can kind of see where the data points are falling. Um, another one is for two variables, the dot violin. So it's got this plot dot violin and you can see kind of what the distribution is. And the interesting thing is with the six cylinder, which we saw last week, um, that it's got this bimodal distribution. So we had to investigate this one further to see why this is, um, why, why there's a bimodal distribution going on. Okay, uh, next thing, graphing three variables. So um, here what we're going to do is expand on the cylinder and highway and now add a class of vehicle in here. So I'm going to do control enter. And what we see, what we see here is that uh, in, in the six cylinder, there's kind of a differing, uh, this is why the bimodal relationship exists, because pickups that are six cylinder uh, tend to have lower highway and, and same thing with SUVs versus the two seaters, the, um, the compacts, the midsize and the minivans. So they tend to pull that up. So if I go back here, that's why we had this bimodal distribution here. Um, so, uh, that, that was very interesting. And we can see here, we've got a little bit of that going on as well. So pickups tend to be a little bit lower, uh, even in the four cylinder range. And then the same thing with the eight cylinder range, we can see that, that, uh, 
there's a little bit of a bimodal relationship going on in each of these different categories. Okay, cool. So that, uh, we're gaining some insights. Uh, the last one I want to show you before and after plots. So we're going to check this one out. What we're doing is grouping by model uh, and year, and we're summarizing the mean highway. And then what we want to know is by model and year, um, how does that uh, change going from 1999 to 2008? And this is another uh, handy plot type that Graphify has. So we're trying to review kind of the direction. We can see most of them tend to kind of go up over time, although some are going a little bit down. Um, and, uh, you know, that just tends to be the case. So uh, very, but a very cool visualization. You can see like this one right here, which is the dark gray. Uh, it looks like it's the new beetle um, went down in highway fuel economy. Uh, it's probably because it got a little bit bigger over time. Uh, but most vehicles like this green one, the Audi A4 Quattro, tend to be going upwards over time, uh, the A4 uh, as well, and so on. Um, okay, so cool. Uh, you now know Graphify, but if you want to learn more, you need to definitely learn ggplot2 visualization. So ggplot2 is what uh, Graphify uses to build these plots, and if you want to customize them, you definitely want to learn how to do visualization. I teach that in my DS4B101-R course, along with eight weeks of training that is just on business analysis and how to use R for business. Uh, and then if you want to take it to the next step, I have a whole five-course R track that will take you from beginner to expert in six months or less, and I have links in the video notes for both the single 101 course and the five-course R track. So check those out. All right, I'll catch you next time. Bye.